natural anti-inflammatories and painkillers for your dog and you. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then you click the link directly in the box below. I can send you a copy of my free book. A little over a week ago, I had a bit of a bike crash. <sighs> Smashed my head, my shoulder, my knee. It's been about 10 days now, and here's the remnants of my knee wound. Here's some of what I've been using. It's also safe to use in your dog. Number one for pain, CBD, cannabidiol. Of all the anti-inflammatories and painkillers out there, the natural one which has been most beneficial for me and for many dog and cat parents is this CBD cannabidiol. The standard dog and cat dose, it's three milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight once or twice daily. Little Tula is 20 pounds. Should be getting two drops. Here we go, little Tula. Oh. I've also used topical CBD. I've been putting this on three to four times a day. It's also been provided some great pain relief as well as decreasing the soft tissue inflammation. Number two, two herbs has been documented to be almost as effective as many traditional non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. 95% curcumin in combination with Boswellia. We're looking at curcumin doses of 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily, Boswellia doses of 50 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. I've been taking both of those in combination twice a day. They've been working really well. They're also safe to use on your dogs or cats, and they provide some great natural pain relief as well as being anti-inflammatory. Number three, homeopathic has been working really well for me topically, Tromiel. It's a homeopathic combination cream and whether or not you get homeopathy or not, and I, I just found it to be really helpful. Like it's, it's very safe. No sort of downside is having like any negative side effects. It's okay if your dog, your cat licks it. And third, like it actually was giving me some good pain relief. I've been applying a thin layer of the Tromiel two to three times a day. Honestly, about 10 minutes after applying it, my knee feels far less painful. Number four, the liquid sulfur compound. It smells a little bit like garlic, DMSO. The big advantage of DMSO is it rapidly penetrates into the skin, you know, reaching the affected area. As a single agent alone, it can provide some great natural anti-inflammatory properties, but as well too, it can also help bring certain medications further into the damaged tissue, into the joint. So it works really well in combination with something say topically such as CBD or something topically such as Tromiel, then apply the DMSO and brings it into that affected area. So after applying the CBD, the Tromiel, I was just putting on multiple drops of that DMSO topically on my knee. The DMSO, it's safe to use on dogs, it's safe to use on cats. We used to use it in veterinary practice, especially following things such as knee surgery. I put on something topical such as lidocaine, add on topical DMSO, and that would bring more of that lidocaine into the joint, providing some great natural local pain relief. Number five, a plant I just picked up from my neighbor, comfrey. Comfrey is known to be this wonderful topical anti-inflammatory plant. So anytime you're dealing with soft tissue injury, secondary bruising, you really should be thinking of comfrey. So here's some dried comfrey leaf. It's then sat in some olive oil for two to four weeks. Then it's distilled into this, which is additional beeswax to turn it into a salve. And this is what topically can be used on the skin. It's not meant, nor is it necessarily safe to be ingested orally, but it's a great topical natural anti-inflammatory. Comfrey salve, you're just doing a little dab in the end of your finger, then just applying that topically to all the area of damage affected skin. I didn't have this comfrey, so I wasn't able to use it, but if I had it, I definitely would have. In fact, next week, I'm gonna show you how to go from this comfrey leaf to this dried comfrey leaves, to this like medicinal salve, we're gonna make this at home. So that's what I'm using. There is my natural oral and topical anti-inflammatories slash painkillers. They're working pretty well for me. There are also things that you can safely use on your dog and your cat. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please click the like button, share it. If you get to subscribe, I encourage you to subscribe. It's Dr. Jones.